Hey guys, my name is Hiram. Today I will show you how to do a simple linear regression and correlation. Here's an example where we have data of 40 students who are enrolled in a mathematics class where it shows the number of courses that they take versus the number of paid work hours weekly that they do. As you know, probably an independent variable will be on the x-axis and the dependent always on the y-axis in a graph. In this example, the number of course will be the independent because more courses a student take, less free time the student have, therefore less paid work hours that the student can do. When we have two quantitative variables, and if we want to see if any significant statistic relationship between those two variables, we can draw a simple linear correlation and see if there is a relationship between them. And for that, we can draw a scar plot of an individual data. To do that, uh, first of all, select both data, both series of data, go in insert, go in scar plot, and choose the first one. We position the graph to make it more visible, maybe make it bigger. Also, you may want to go in quick layout and choose the first one, so it will give you some information. In this kind of graph, you don't need the title, so click on it, right click, and delete it. Same thing for the series, you don't need it because there is only one. Click on it, right click, and delete it. X and Y axis, make sure they are properly located. So for the X, it's the number of courses, perfect. Click on it, you can copy paste the title. So click on the X title, delete it, and paste it. Same thing for the Y axis. There you go. The grid lanes, uh, it's unnecessary, so double click and right click on one of the lane and delete it simply. X and Y axis, click on it, first of all on the X axis. Uh, usually we like to have a solid lane and make it in black to make it more visible. In the same option, if you go in option axis, uh, we want to have the tick marks. A major lane and it's by convention is always outside in the same place where the a axis options uh, you may want to modify the maximum let's do it in this case uh, 10 and the uh, units I want to put it to why because in this graph we want four to six tick marks so uh, make it adequately for your graph and there you go you want to do exactly the same thing for the y-axis as well. I'm not going to do it here, but you have to do it. By seeing the SCART plot, we wonder if there's a relationship statistically significant between both variables. To see if there is a relationship, we shall determine the R-value, the correlation coefficient. So we can draw a linear regression. In the, to do that, click on the graph, go in R chart element, train lanes, and we want to do linear. Double click on the lane and um, go in fill up. And in the type, you can you may want to do as a continue lane. In the same place, you can go in the option train lane and go at the bottom, display equation on the chart and display the R squared value on the chart. You may want to click on the equation and go in home and make it bigger to make it more visible. Also, place it in an appropriate place as it should be. Another way of calculating the linear correlation, I'm gonna go a little bit down. So the linear correlation for the correlation of coefficient, we can use a Excel function, which is corel. To do equal corel, open the parenthesis, I'm gonna choose all the x value, then comma, choose all the dependent value, and then close the parenthesis and equal. So minus 0 0.89. Therefore, we have the calculated R square value over here in the graph. So if you wanna have the R, you need to do a square root of the R square. So in Excel, you can do equal square root of that value, which is 0 0.8063, close the parenthesis, equal. So we have the same value over here. So what does that mean? Minus 0 0.89, it is a strong correlation and it is a negative correlation. 
because if the students take more courses, consequently students have less free time, therefore the students can do less paid work hours. Hopefully this will be helpful for you guys for the lab one homework. So take care for now, we'll see you in another capsule.